Um, now I think we've got a question to come from Jonathan Glantz. Jonathan. Hello. Um, I represent West End Ward in the city of Westminster. And at the heart of my ward is Soho, an area perhaps not best known for its green activities. Um, however, there are a lot of um, activities there. It's an area of intense activity, which is part of the, uh, of the heat island uh, of London, and we're a heat island within a heat island. We have very little outdoor space, so we have to look for innovative ways of greening our area. We're looking at green roofs. We're looking at vertical gardening. We're looking at increasing the number of trees as they act as carbon capture as well as, uh, as softening behavior. We've got buildings which date from the 17th, 18th, and 19th century, and in order to uh, in increase their sustainability, we're looking at retrofitting them. The high ceilings and the sash windows introduced by the Georgians means that we don't really need air conditioning. We've got issues with air, with air quality, and we're trying to encourage people to come into our area on foot, on bike, and to use Boris's bikes. And we're also trying to have drinking fountains reintroduced into our area in order, to, um, in order to abate the millions of bottles, the plastic bottles, which are brought in on a regular basis. Now, if we can achieve this in the centre of the West End, in the centre of London, I think that that's anywhere. And I would ask you whether or not you can confirm that you would support and facilitate the, uh, the reintroduction and restoration of drinking fountains to provide a network of drinking fountains throughout the country and to reduce wasteful use of resources, to reduce deliveries and collections, to reduce pollution, to reduce litter, and to provide a healthy green drinking option. Thank you. Well, that, is it me? Yeah. It's, well, it's easy. To, it's easy to say yes to that, and uh, that is. Uh, but I think that local government, in the end, will have to decide on the the, the siting of these things. I think the important thing we've all understood. It's important for us to drink more water. It helps to keep us healthy and that actually this, the tap water in London is um, the best way to, to enjoy a healthy lifestyle and to have a, a green footprint. But all of us live in London at some point of the week. MPs have to. And what I took from him was actually a much more important challenge to all of us who, um, whether we live in cities or rural areas, just actually to look at the way we lead our lives and actually are, if there are some things, that's what I meant by quite little changes sometimes, that will actually make a difference. But what you've demonstrated incredibly ably that in an area of dense population, uh, you're managing to find solutions which actually achieve a remarkable improvement of the carbon footprint in the place where you live. Once again, decisions and ideas coming from the bottom up. And I think that's what we want to see more of. Who else would like to I, add their thoughts? I, 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 well, I was just going to say, I think it's also a wonderful conservative insight there because it's taking advantage of something the Labour Party never do, which is the wisdom of ages. You know, looking back at how things have been done for a reason over many, many years, and maybe the Georgians weren't so wrong. And, you know, Labour, with their gimmicks and their constant rush for something new for the sake of it, actually ignore much of accumulated wisdom. And I think we can learn a great deal from, you know, those old street patterns. Absolutely. Can I just, just add a point, which I, I think may not wholly uh, uh, agree with the last bit of what you said. Um, uh, uh, I can just imagine three of our predecessors, uh, Labour um, ministers sitting here, and, and responding to this admirable, uh, fantastic initiative you're describing in, in London. And I, the response goes something like this. Yes, of course. And so we must set up a quango called the a Drinking Water Quango. And uh, we must have a Tsar, who is the Drinking Water Tsar, and uh, a Drinking Water Regulation, which will be enforced by the Drinking Water Quango and its regional inspectors and oh, assisted... Oh, off fountain, off fountain, marvellous, excellent, off fountain, exactly. And, well, and, well, F off, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, a, a couple of hundred million pounds a year later, um, uh, people in my village in Thorncombe in West Dorset will be asking themselves why Musara has arrived and put in the middle of a village where no one wants one a drinking fountain. Um, uh, and, and, and why they're having to pay taxes for it. You know, so the answer is, you have found something which is totally suitable to your area. Other, exactly what Caroline is saying about bottom up, you know, other um, cities will have heard what you said today, we need to spread the news, uh, what you're doing makes abundant sense. I've no doubt there are many other city environments which would be absolutely admirable. What we don't want is the whole of that sort of 
ludicrous central government apparatus which then enforces it on all sorts of places which is not suitable to. And that's the shift we're trying, that's, that's, that, that's the control shift we're trying to achieve right across the board in government. We don't tell you what to do, you work out what to do and we spread the best practice.